Hello, my name is this is Michael, and I want to talk about what the early Christians actually thought about the atonement. The popular idea that's being tossed around is that the earliest Christians believed in the Christus Victor uh, theory of the atonement, uh, which Steve described in his uh, video, is this idea that uh, Jesus defeats Satan on the cross. And some early church fathers talked about Jesus being the bait uh, that Satan grabs and thinks that he wins by killing Jesus, but instead he's defeated instead. And, and so the idea is that uh, for a long time this was the dominant view uh, in Christianity and that it was then replaced by the penal substitution theory developed by Anselm of Canterbury. If you look around uh, on the internet, uh, on discussions about this, this is generally the picture that's, that's being painted. And it was developed by actually a Swedish a scholar called Gustav Arlen, um, who uh, wrote a book about Christus Victor, and he argued that this is the position of uh, the Church Fathers. And, and that might be the case, but I have specifically looked at the very earliest Church Fathers. And I wrote a blog post about this uh, three years ago. It's on my site, Holy Spirit Activism. It was part of a course I was taking at a Catholic school here in Sweden. And I looked at the Apostolic Fathers, uh, the very next generation after the Apostles and the writers of the New Testament. What did they say about the Atonement? Now, what I thought was very clear uh, when I looked at people like Clement of Rome, uh, Ignatius of Antioch, Polycarp, uh, the Epistle of Barnabas, and the letter to Diognetus, uh, is that I don't see a very clear Christus Victor uh, theology when they talk about what happened when Jesus died on the cross. Uh, I don't find anything that contradicts the Christus Victor theory and that's the thing with these different atonement theories. They rarely contradict each other. They, they are rarely mutually exclusive. It is possible to say yes Jesus defeated Satan while also saying that Jesus uh, took the punishment for our sins on the cross. Um, and, and so when I look at what they write I don't uh, see anything that contradicts Christ Victor, but I don't see any clear Christ Victor teaching either. What they tend to emphasize is that Jesus died for our sins on our behalf. He died for our sake, uh, and so on. And I think this is very interesting. <laughs> when we look at the New Testament itself, I, I also think that we find there uh, you know, multiple perspectives of, on what's going on with the cross, but uh, the the idea that Jesus dies for us uh, is clearly there. And I know many uh, people who uh, um, defend Christus Victor will say, yeah, of course, Jesus died for our sake. But what do we mean by that? Do we mean that Jesus um, took the punishment that God wanted to give on us on him, himself instead? And so what they typically criticize when they criticize penal substitution is the idea that uh, God is the one that punishes sin. Uh, and they say, no, that's not what the atonement is about. The atonement isn't, you know, the father punishing the son, but rather something else going on. Uh, I don't agree with that. And I think that when discussing these types of issues, we have to go back to the sources and be more um, accurate when when describing history. It is not as clear-cut as many tend to imply in these discussions. But when we look at the earliest Christians, um, I don't find Christus Victor there very specifically. Again, it doesn't mean that they didn't believe it, it just means that it didn't emphasize. Thank you for watching and God bless you.